So today we're going to talk about crystal testing and show you both my old method and my new method of testing crystals. So in the old days, we used this little circuit, which uh, came out of everyday practical electronics and allowed me to get with this green LED, a, basically a go or no go uh, uh, test, simply saying that when the crystal was inserted in the socket, the circuit was oscillating. Didn't tell you any frequency, but if you attached a frequency counter, you could then read the frequency of oscillation, and that's what we're doing here. So I got this beautiful uh, vintage Cistron Donner uh, 6152 counter here, and we have a 10 megahertz crystal in there, and you can see that we are about 10 megahertz, uh, give or take uh, three or four tenths of a hertz uh, with the uh, Cistron Donner. This thing has to warm up for a while. It has an ovenized crystal oscillator in it. So normally I'd have to turn this on and wait, you know, 15 minutes or so before I could begin any testing. So now let's take that same crystal and stick it in to the main good tester. And you can see here we're reading approximately the same reading that we were reading with the uh, previous setup that I had. The other disadvantage of the setup that I have here is that the range of the crystal tester uh, circuit is limited because of the transistor that's used in the oscillator. It is just a PN2222 and that's limited uh, to about uh, between 10 and 15 megahertz. So I cannot test any uh, 20 megahertz crystals. So, uh, or 16 megahertz, which is the common frequency for Arduino. But let's just test a couple here and see how the the tester compares. So now this crystal that I have here should be 589824 megahertz. This is another vintage crystal made back in 1983. I have an entire bag of old crystals that... Um, so according to the old method, we're 5896.0. Pretty damn close. And we'll stick her in the Banggood tester. Five eight nine eight zero. So well within a usable tolerance for uh, a hobbyist. So let's even get a little older. So here, these are some vintage crystals. This one's actually dated 10 of 1977. So it's actually just a hair younger than the uh, frequency counter that we're using. So if we stick that in here and go to oscillate 3578.0. And this is a color burst crystal. So 3579.545 is what it's supposed to be. So once again, back in the old method, 3578. Pop this out of here and stick her in. 35794. So both are well within the range. This one you can stick in your pocket and use any 5 volt uh, USB power cube for actually you really need a 6 volt to 12 volt it does have a uh, 7805 regulator in there uh, on the power supply input so you can use as long as the power plug is uh, center positive um, you could uh, use just about anything that you might have laying around in your shop so overall the kit construction for this gizmo was super easy and i bought it with the case my only uh my only change that i am going to make here is i'm going to take this crystal socket that's down here and i'm going to raise it up so that i can test some of the other vintage crystals that don't have leads long enough to get in there i might even add a vintage crystal socket right on the top there i am not going to use it as a frequency counter it is a very uh, unsophisticated and unforgiving front end so you could really do some damage if you uh, 
plugged it in the wrong thing. My primary purpose for this is going to be uh, to test and verify a lot of the vintage crystals that I have, as well as the uh, crystals for my microcontroller project. And, uh, you know, for 11 bucks, it is just flipping awesome. Super simple, easy to assemble. Another interesting product from Banggood.